You've already made one fold in the aluminum. That fold is here. Now you're going to make two more long folds on the sides. I think of the result as a pocket because a pocket is closed on three sides and open on one. You'll need a sharp corner on a table or something to help you make the long folds. This laminated countertop will work. It's a sharp enough corner, but this rounded wooden tabletop is too rounded. It won't make a good sharp fold. The same with this granite tabletop. It's too rounded. But this veneer tabletop is sharp enough. I tape the aluminum to the table so it doesn't slip and slide around while I'm trying to make a precise bend. Line up one of the dashed lines exactly with the sharp edge of the table. When you're sure you have it right, press down on the tape and rub it with your fingernail or something. Do the same thing on the other end. It's really important to line up the dashed line with the corner of the table. Using thumbs or fingers, bend the aluminum really hard against the sharp corner. It's important for your fingers to be close to the dashed line as they're pushing. Otherwise, you'll get a round bend, not a sharp, clean bend that you want. Because it springs back, the aluminum will only bend to about a 45 degree angle. And that's okay. What matters is that when you catch the light the right way, you should see a clear fold line, not a fuzzy, rounded bend. If you don't see a sharp fold line all the way across, put it back on the corner of the table and bend it until you get it right. When you have it right, flip it around, tape it down again, and fold the other dashed line. The first bend will make it impossible to tape down the aluminum perfectly flat. But that's okay. You just want to keep it from sliding around as you're bending it. Just make sure you're bending hard exactly on the dashed line. This is what you should have. Two clear fold lines. Find a sharp corner. Line up a dashed line exactly with the edge. Tape it down and bend hard. You should see clear, straight fold lines.